Hi, I'm Tom Stimson, and I call this video series Stuff You Need to Know. This is the third video in a series on RFPs, Request for Proposals. And in this segment, we're going to talk about positioning. We've talked about the qualification process. How do we get to the point where we're actually having a conversation with the client about how they're going to make the decision about the job? Once we've qualified the client, we want to invite them into a discussion about our capabilities that are appropriate for this job. If the client is new to us, then we're going to call this a capabilities pitch. If the client is known to us and we're known to them, then we're going to talk about specifically about the job. But in both cases, I'm going to call this the pitch process. So we're going to invite the client, once we've qualified them, to talk about the pitch and the refinement and the agreement that we're going to work towards. So in the pitch process, we're going to review the opportunity, look at our unique capabilities that we can contribute to it, dig a little bit deeper into the client's expectations about what they want the supplier to do. We've learned a little bit about the customer in the initial discovery process, our due diligence in the qualification process about what it is they're looking for and why this is an RFP. So in our pitch process, we need to make sure that we're emphasizing why we are qualified as a supplier. You qualified them as a buyer, now it's your turn to qualify yourself as a supplier. So we go through this and hopefully what we'll do is we're going to refine the RFP. Very rarely is an RFP cut and dried. It's come fully vetted, it's been engineered, it's been completely thought out. Sometimes it is and we're going to learn that in the qualification process. But a lot of times it's just a positioning request so they can get better information about how to approach the job and they can learn more about the job themselves. What is the job worth? Is there a better way of doing it? Is there technology I need to consider? Is there another approach that I need to take a look at? And this is how we refine that and we do this during the pitch discussion. And then the third thing that we're going to do in this process is we talk about it, we refine it, and then we agree to a scope of work. The scope of work is the revised RFP. This is the piece of work that I'm actually going to write a proposal on. So if we get through this conversation, I can close it by saying, here's what I think we've agreed on that the project needs to be. Let me write you up a scope of work, if this sounds right, and let you agree to the scope of work. This process isn't over until the client has reviewed the scope of work that you've written, which is basically the response to the RFP based on the refinements that you've made, and get them to agree to that scope of work. I haven't written a proposal yet. A proposal comes next, it involves the pricing, and then we negotiate. So, in the positioning phase, I'm working towards an agreement on what the scope of work actually is. In the next video, we're going to talk about the proposal itself. I'm Tom Stimson. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.